first of all, the three cards in the center represent the heart. This is the heart center. The first card represents where you're at right now. The second one represents the energy coming in. And the third one represents your challenge. And so, um, particularly because this is the heart center, what I'm seeing is that you have the eight of discs reversed. And there's a sense that um, you're lacking a sense of meaningful work. That that you're working and you're working hard, but it doesn't feel meaningful. It doesn't feel like there's anything that you're getting back from your work. There's kind of a spiritual emptiness in it. Uh, so it, you don't feel very satisfied with what's happening. But the energy that's coming in is suggesting that everything is happening exactly the way it's supposed to. It's the Justice card, and the Justice card represents uh, karma, it represents consequences, it represents things falling into place as they're supposed to. So that's the energy that's going to come in and to allow you to know that really things are happening exactly as they're supposed to be happening. Your challenge is to create You've, you have had a sense of, of being very boundaried and cut off. Not, not cut off um, from the world, but kind of emotionally cut off. You wanted to be alone, you wanted to not be disturbed, you want to be kind of more in silence. And your challenge is to open up more, to allow opening into your life, to allow more people in. And so what I see with the heart center is there's a sense, there's a sense of, of emptiness, a sense of um, not feeling spiritually mad or meaninglessness. And for some reason, at this point anyways, uh, the cards are telling you that things are supposed to be that way, that, that things are happening as they're supposed to be happening, that most likely you need to be feeling this sense of emptiness. Sometimes we need that in order to move on. And the challenge is to allow that more openness in your life and more opening because you have been, uh, I don't know if boundaries the word, you've been away. What you're not aware of, and this is unconscious, is that the sense of wanting to come together in love. This is the, the lover's card, and it's about two people coming together to make a choice to be in a relationship. And it's unconscious. You're not even aware how much that's happening unconsciously for you, how, how much you re you're wanting that relationship to happen, you're wanting it to work. But it is. It's almost like you don't want to allow yourself to know it yet. Um, what's passing away is a, is, is, is a difficult card. It's the Eight of Swords. And what's passing is a sense that you're stuck, that you've been stuck, that you've been trying to figure out how to get out of the stuck place. And no matter what you've tried, no matter what strategy you've been working with, it just doesn't seem to be working for you. And so that energy of stuckness is moving out of your life. You're, go you're moving away from that feeling of, I don't know what else to do here. I don't know how to get out of this. And, and it, it, it seems to relate to the challenge around more opening. So there is going to be a movement away from feeling stuck to more openness. And what you're aware of is the sense of really wanting to be grateful for what you have, a sense of happiness for relationships, sense of feeling good towards other people. Um, the card's tilted to the, to the uh, right, it's the Ten of Cups, which is about happiness in relationships, feeling grateful for what you have. And so you're aware of that, that real desire, that push towards uh, feeling gr gratitude, um, which is almost like what's happening on the unconscious level, this desire for, for, for union, this desire for partnership that's happening unconsciously and you're making decisions that may be coming through in dreams or just the way that you're doing things that you're not cognitively uh, thinking about it but just doing it non-verbally or intuitively. 
unfortunately, uh, in the next little while, you're going to have to deal with a lot of your own fears. All the, th all the thoughts, all the fears in your head, all the things that you think about, that you're worried about, that you try to control, that you try, is going to come up for you. And you're going to have to deal with some fears that you've been holding on to. The positive part of that, though, is that instead of it just being all in your head, which often, you know, sometimes our fears are, you're going to have to face the fears. And it's one of the ways that we get through fear is by actually facing it. Sometimes our fears can control us and stop us from living, can stop us from taking risks. So what's going to happen very, very soon is that you're going to have to deal with those very things that you're afraid of. With... Uh, the um, outcome that you deal with them so that they're not fears anymore. And you see yourself uh, right now in a position of making a choice. Uh, this is the in the position of how you see yourself and it's the Seven of Cups reversed. And Seven of Cups reversed means that you are focused. Upright, it would mean that there's all these different choices, all these different things that you want to do, all these different decisions, but you're in a place of, no, this is what I want. There's a clarity here. Um, and in sometimes there's this fear, in, the, in terms of your fears, that you're going to just jump in without thinking about what you're doing and maybe make a mistake. Maybe uh, act too quickly without thinking. In relation to somebody else, there is a sense of being cut off from your heart. Um, thinking way too much and not allowing your heart feelings to come forward. Sometimes there's a sense, of, and this is in the position of a partner, somebody else in your life, some, there's a sense that um, we try to strategize, figure things out, uh, work it out all in our head, and sometimes that can bring on the very things, what's going on in our heads is about those fears. Anyways, in relation to somebody else, you're, you're cut off from your heart. It's not that your heart isn't there. It's not that you're not feeling, but the, the, your head is dominating your relationship and allowing your heart to come forward. And, uh, but you know, as, as um, this is the future, this is what's going to happen, you're going to start to let go like the daughter of wands, and just be playful again. Just allow yourself to run and play and be happy and not so consumed by worry. You're going to speak out, speak your mind, and to tell your truth as you know your truth. You're not going you're going to have a have a plan that's clear and straightforward with nobody being um, victimized, that it's all up front. Everything is going to balance itself out. What I'm doing right now is looking for a major arcana. When I look for a major, when I find a major arcana, that's when the reading stops. And there's a tower. So that is the major arcana, which suggests a profound life change. So it's an interesting reading in that there's some really strong cards around um, feelings around emptiness, fears, and uh, being too involved in your head rather than your heart, but at the same time, there's a strong unconscious desire for relationship and partnership. It would be interesting to find out what it is that's blocking um, you from allowing yourself just to acknowledge that you really do want a relationship, that you really do want to be with somebody. Uh, it could be that all of your fears are blocking you. So much, so much fear there. And, uh, and particularly in, uh, in the realm, uh, you've got these three cards, you've got the lovers, you've got the priestess of swords, and the uh, nine of swords. Nine of swords are about fear, the priestess is all in her head, and the lovers is about coming together, 